Welcome to the Kind of Nerdy Girls podcast. Fandom. Fun. Funny. So, here we go. Welcome to the Kind of Nerdy Girls podcast. Our fun fact today is a poster you had hanging up in your room when you oh. were a teenager. Poo, choo, 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 pow, pow, ping, choo, 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 pow, 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 We'll start with producer Jonna. Don't judge me because mm. I'm not the only teenage girl who probably did this, but I definitely had a poster on my ceiling of Taylor Lautner. Ah. Uh, wait, Twilight or Shark Boy? Twilight. <laughs> mm. <laughs> did you kiss a good night? Good night, Taylor. It was too high up. That's how you blow up kisses. I just wouldn't wait. You guys know what the most terrifying thing is when your poster falls on you in the yes. middle of the night. And joining us with a very exciting gaming update in moments, it's Gamer Katie. I had dual posters on one part of my wall. So I had a whole mural at one point. Cat. But dual posters, the one that stood out, it was my Backstreet Boys poster from Millennium. Nice. And then I had a picture of Aaron Carter next to that. (laughs) Aaron Carter. Well, I was like, oh, Nick and Aaron are brothers. It makes sense that they go together. Uh, Yeah. (laughs) Woo, choo, 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 choo. And joining us from the kind of nerdy dudes is producer Patches. (laughs) Thank you. You're welcome. (laughs) Um, I had a Bo Jackson poster. It's a Bo knows Bo. It was the side by side of the Raiders and the Kansas City Royals. So oh, very nice. The best athlete that has ever lived. Did you have very any masculine. chick posters? Oh God, yeah, I had Kathy Ireland all over my wall. Okay, mm-hmm. Ooh, Kathy choo, Ireland. Choo, 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 choo. My name is KJ, and honestly, I don't. I didn't have any posters, but I had a lot of the the tear out pictures from the Tiger Beat. Yes, exactly that magazine or Teen Pop or whatever it was. Teen Pop, yeah, yeah. Yes. oh yeah, that's Lots where I got those. all of my posters. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, yeah, tons of those. And I, you know, I'm like my first, you know, my generation's Twilight was the Lost Boys, which I will tell you was way, way cooler than Twilight. Our vampires were way cooler. Than they Twilight. didn't sparkle. <laughs> they did not. They were Nobody a tad. Get over that. Oh, I mean, man. the bar is pretty low, John. Nope. I mean, no one can't get over that they sparkle. Like, come on, guys. It's a dumb detail. You guys, (laughs) Kiefer Sutherland was my vampire, and he was so cool. (laughs) So I did have the Lost Boys pretty much everywhere. He was very rock and roll. Uh, But I never put up, I never put a a poster on my ceiling. And even when I had my bunk beds, because I was the bottom bunk, I put the little tiger beat pictures all over my walls and hung a sheet so I could be alone with them. But I never put any on that. <laughs> I never Who put. Who did? Listen, I shared a room with three sisters. There I'm were dead. bunk beds yeah, and a privacy. double bed. The only privacy I got was that king sheet hanging over the bunk what? bed so that I can be alone with Corey Haim and Corey Feldman and Kiefer mm, Sutherland. The Corys. The Corys. <laughs> Look, yes. the only reason I had to put Santa Lauder on my ceiling was because my TV was like blocking one whole wall and I couldn't get behind it. And well, it we've got what's got John O'Weeping coming up. We'll find out what's going on uh, in dude news, dude news, dude news, dude news with the kind of nerdy dudes. What was, I can't remember what my jingle was for uh, talk and Marvel. Do you remember I sang the last last time we were together? I was like, talking more, talking more, talking. I honestly like think that. that's what it was. Was that what it was? Talking more, so. talking more, talking more. <laughs> I don't know. That's not maybe my best. It was, I think it maybe it was familiar. cooler, but I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I'll go, fi- I'll go I'll, back and listen. I'll go back and listen and I'll be better at it next time. So we'll talk some Marvel because, uh, you know, Falcon and Winter Soldier and things like that. But first, oh my gosh, breaking news. Breaking news, breaking news. The moment we've all been waiting for. Katie's gaming update. Drum roll, please. Guess what? You want me to go do one? Behind us. Nope, go ahead. Katie. I am now the proud owner of APS5. Yay! Yeah. 
It only took 133 days. 133 (laughs) days. It is. Happened. Now, is the PS5 in your house or is it arriving today? It is on the way. It will be here Monday. Monday. They pushed it back. I know. Uh, They're making me wait almost a whole school (gasps) year. Yep. So now I've cleaned out a space on the shelf downstairs. (laughs) I had to bump the PS4 down a shelf. Ooh. Could you bump the PS4 to my house? I'll bring my Tony Hawk Pro Skater over there and we can play it. Just saying. Consider it. We can play we can play it on the projector. Oh. What are we in main? Ooh. Yep. Yeah. And it's yep. a bundle. Oh. So I'm getting the new Spider-Man ah. and Demon Souls. I want to play that. Can I can I come to you? Can I come to your house and play? <laughs> well, yes. You guys are partially vaccinated, so yes. You now you are welcome. All right. So talk us through how you finally got yourself a PS5. Okay. Well, you, you know that I've been following these accounts that are giving out these alerts on Twitter as to when PS5 goes on sale here, when it goes on sale here. Da 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 da. So, Target, Best Buy, Walmart, GameStop, Sony itself. All the other ones, Newegg. I've been following all of them. I've been in every queue, I've never doing everything heard I possibly Newegg. can. Newegg is like the c- computer parts website, kind of. Oh sorta. wow, yeah, yeah, that's why I haven't heard of it. Yeah, <laughs> I've been following Aldi. I've been in every queue. Been in every way. Did you say possible. you were following Aldi? All these accounts. Oh, I think so. I'm like, I'm pretty Aldi's sure all these. Uh, I don't think all these get out. Aldi all these has lines. those little individual cheesecakes. They're very good. They are. Moving on. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so finally, the day comes. Ant online. Bam. It's available. Come get it right now. And I'm sleeping. One of my coworkers purchases the bundle for me. Shut uh, up. Yep. He calls me. He's like, you'll never guess. I got one. It's yours. No and I was way. like, no one has ever done this huge of a favor for me before in my life. <laughs> oh my God. <gosh. laughs> nice. yeah. So he snagged it for me because he really enjoys doing this kind of stuff. Like he thinks, because he didn't even want a PS5. He just does it because it's fun and like exciting and whatever, oh, which I crazy. disagree. I didn't think it was fun. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but now you each got what you wanted out of it. Yes. You got the hunt and you got the PS5. I know. So now it will be here Monday and I had oh. to clear out space for it. Yay. It's almost so like, me, getting, yeah, it's you... like getting a nursery together for your, no, for your I have to like system. nest and prepare for the new baby. <laughs> <laughs> we already told the dog that there's a new baby in the family. Oh, Murphy. <laughs> Murphy, you're going to be a big brother. <laughs> we did. The PS5 will be getting its own room. You're going to be so mad about all of the attention that your mm-hmm. new little brother gets. Listen, the baby needs, needs attention and you're fully grown. <laughs> Okay, so I got super excited about the the bundle when you said Spider Man. What's mm-hmm. the other game? What's Demon called? Souls, which is a game you maybe have not heard of. Uh, not. It is one of the worst games ever, in my opinion, because it's really hard. <laughs> so it's, really hard. <laughs> it's in the Dark Souls family, where it's this game where you, you just die over and over and over and over and over again. Only if you're bad. Only if you're bad <laughs> to learn your lesson on how to beat these monsters and things like that. So they they have an incredibly tough learning curve, and they're very hard to play. But Eric loves them, so okay. I will not be playing Demon Souls. So then, will will you guys play? Are, are either of these games you can play together? I don't know. I haven't looked at them because I have not had them in my possession yet. I mean, you're gonna have to make a plan when you power that thing up. Yep. Are you guys- we decide, we're trying to decide who gets to play it first. Okay, it's very contentious in our house. Hey, and now Katie can do our Twitch stream. Yeah. So okay. Five. Mm-hmm. Listen, we've got an update on that as well, Jonna. So Ooh. last. It's like all my episode. Oh, yes. I, I, Katie's stealing the spotlight here. Mm-hmm. Last night, we were able to connect with a couple of the guests that have been announced for PopCon, which is happening on July 9th through the 11th. Get your tickets now, popcon.us. Oh, yeah. it, it, they just announced that this is not the guest that we talked to, but I want to tell you that they just announced that J- David Keckner is coming. Oh, so, that's how you pronounce his name. Yes, yes, <laughs> that's how you pronounce his name. So from Whammy! from Anchorman, <laughs> the office. Guy. He's so so funny. pretty funny. Oh, yeah. He's, He's hilarious. He was the manager, the, the restaurant manager in waiting. He was. Yes. He's really funny and he's really nice. He actually came through and did a show in Indianapolis years ago and it was at Christmas time. So I have a really nice picture with David Keckner by Christmas tree in the in the ZPL studios. 
Are we going to get him on the podcast? I don't know. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. I hope that we're going to get him on the podcast. But the guys we got to talk to last night, super exciting, super nice. One of them is an Irish man. And one of them lives right here in Indiana. Mm -hmm. And both of them are the actors and stars, if you will, of Red Dead Redemption. Y'all talk to an Irish person and I wasn't there to hear their accent. (laughs) Yes, that's, that's the draw is the fact that he's Irish. (laughs) <laughs> that's what you took away not from the that. fact that he's the main character of one of the biggest selling games of all time no he's <laughs> irish and i didn't get to hear his accent well you'll get to hear it coming soon it'll be uh, a pop con spotlight on their facebook page uh, to watch it and then it'll be part of our uh, kind of nerdy girls podcast it was but pretty cool <laughs> katie did great so we talked very excited she didn't fangirl too hard i tried so hard not to she did great. I think I fangirled a little bit more. And I was like, I don't even know. I'm just so excited for Katie that I'm acting like an idiot. But I played cool. I was cool. Yes. I think that <laughs> the cooler Katie stayed, the more I felt like I needed to raise up my fangirl. Energy. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. That was me. <laughs> I was channeling Katie. I'm like, all right, fine. You're going to be cool. I'm going to be a moron. When we meet these people in person, yeah. It'll be a different story. Don't worry. Oh, yeah. I'll stay cool. <laughs> I'll stay cool. But how cool is it? I had no idea that. So Rob and he voices, or, sorry, John Marston, John Marston, and they are not voice actors. This is performance capture. They worked for five years on this. Like, yeah, that is some yeah they have to act like on the soundstage with all the foam props and stuff and like yeah. just pretend. Yeah, I love that. So, yeah. So that guy is from indiana so he's super excited to come to popcon because it's like you know it's just a nice little little drive up to indianapolis (laughs) his hometown popcon so (laughs) that was fantastic katie do you have any 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 thoughts after talking to them that you would like to share i'm just very excited because i really like the games and i really like that kind of stuff and you know i i don't get very excited about people we talk to occasionally i know i say that and i don't mean it that way but I, like, I, I don't watch half these TV shows. And I, you know, I, I only very loosely know some people and whatever. And I've never mm-hmm. really been the kind of person to get like, oh my God, I'm so excited. No, you know? that's not you. But this one got me. Yeah. Because I, like, I, I was really into this stuff. I'm the only one that knew anything about it. And it was right in that vein of stuff that I'm really interested in. Well, so. you, you did fantastic. So, yeah. Jonna... Then we were talking about, because we've got this new Twitch channel. You can find Kind of Nerdy Girls uh, just uh, at Kind of Nerdy Girls on Twitch. And we're like, well, we're going to stream all the things. So Ryan from the Kind of Nerdy Network, he is, what is he, verified? He's a verified Twitch streamer. He's got like the the badge. He's a verified Twitcher. He's a, he's he's an expert in this. So he's been coaching us and he said you can stream anything you want on your channel. You can do, and then now I've learned that we need to hashtag things like like mm-hmm. uh, just chatting so that people know we're not playing, we're just chatting. So I should have hashtagged uh, just chatting when I streamed on Twitch our paranormal crossroad Q&A. But we got six viewers on Twitch. Mm, wow. During the Q&A without any hashtags or anything. We got mm. six viewers, all right? So we're on our Here way. We go. Six now, now, six million tomorrow. Right. Because our next plan, Katie has agreed. Ryan's idea last night in the kind of nerdy night in, uh, he said what Katie should do is start over with Red Dead Redemption and play it through so that we can watch and understand the story and the game and get excited about it as we lead into PopCon. And John, I get this. Katie said yes. I did. I agreed. To something. I know. John, is Katie it's- okay? Like, <laughs> like, it's like, Maybe it's the wasps in my house. You, Katie? I don't know. I think they so got Did you get stung and it like changed your brain chemistry? What happened? Maybe it's the vaccine. Oh, <laughs> oh no. It's, oh, no. The vaccine has made us agreeable. We're going to turn into robots and do whatever the government oh, tells no. us to. Oh, God. Here oh, comes no. Skynet. <laughs> Maybe I'll get better cell reception. <laughs> uh so katie will you so will you need your ps4 to do this or you can you do this on your ps5 i don't know i'd have to look at it because okay. i haven't put any thought into it other than just agreeing okay well the uh, next step is 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 a date that you will start mm. this so that we can promote 
coming to our Twitch stream. Well, Red Dead Redemption 1, you're looking at like 10 hours at least. Okay. You don't have to get really far into the game. Do you have to play it all at once? No, you can do it like a little bit here, a couple day, a couple hours a day, whatever. Well, and I um, defer to you. Like, do you have to play it all or can you just like pop in? I mean, place? I there want are the some story. really hallmark plot, like plot points that you should hit in each game. So okay. if you're thinking about both games, Red Dead Redemption 2 is going to take like twice as long. Okay. Well, PopCon is in July, so we've got the time. And this will allow time. people to to binge our, our Twitch stream. Like, right? Like it's like episodes, like Some come back. Some gold star commentary. Hell yeah. I'm excited. I like for this. cowboys. Bang, bang. Right. <laughs> so we need to come up with a, a premiere date, <laughs> if you will. Bang, bang. Let me look at it. See what I have set okay. up specs wise. Okay. Let me unbox my PS5 and get my fingerprints all over it. Okay. Oh, you should do an unboxing on our Twitch stream. You know, Ryan yes. suggested the same thing. Yes. That would be great if you would be willing. Yeah. yeah. No, think again. about it think about it katie it's for that it's for the good of the show it's for the cause it's this for might the views. this might be, be the thing that gets us another uh patron at seven dollars do no, it for the they're vibe, gonna be like katie. you bought a ps5 you don't need me <laughs> come on man work let, let's work for that quarter pounder with cheese let's go come on come on we do still it for only the get we still only get two Cokes a month. No one's supporting us. <laughs> uh, I to, need more Coke. Go to kindanerdynetwork.com if you would like to support us. Thank you. Please. I bought a PS5. I need Coke. And you know what? If you don't, su- <laughs> if you don't want to support us, it's fine. But support someone because like if you listen to a podcast or you have a favorite musician or like whatever, and they have a Patreon Throw a few bucks their way. They're paying to have Zoom so that they can talk longer than 40 minutes. They're getting microphones. They're like putting their time in. Like they are working hard for you. So if you're not going to support, right. If you're not going to give us $7, give someone $7, please. I just gave one of my favorite podcasts, like $70 to go see their live podcast. Shut Mm. up. What podcast? Uh, It's called, are you garbage? Are you garbage, Shauna? Are you garbage? Okay. It's it's a comedy podcast and then they get like other comedians on there to like talk about how they grew up and if they're like a trash person or not. Ah. You're either trashy or classy. It's really funny. Oh, they're like okay. these two guys from like New York City. They're very funny. So was this a, a Patreon thing or how how did you get signed up? No, they're up actually and- doing they're doing like a comedy show. Oh. And it's coming to the Helium Club here in Indy. Oh, it's in person. Like, mm-hmm. I'm just like expecting everything to nope. be virtual. No, nope, it's in person. Life. I got nice. me a reserve table. Oh, wow. So no. fancy. Oh, John no, got a new excited. job and now she's mm-hmm. she's been all. Um... This was before. Hey, I'm going to be making a lot of money at that new job. So. <gasps> oh, mm-hmm. hey, don't tell people that right after we said we need seven dollars on Patreon. OK, we'll cut that out then. <laughs> a lot of money but not enough take, mcdonald's coke listen just take an episode where i go we're i'm so broke and then just put it in there I, I, here I, just I, say it right there just say that line i'm so broke and then cut it over top Perfect. exactly <laughs> yeah, or beautiful. i could just point out that katie has a full-time job and jonna has a full-time job but i actually don't so if you want to give me seven dollars it's very poor I, some I, of us are employed do you Boom. understand seven dollars is 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 two and a half cans of cat food and i've got six cats do the math or 48 cents short of a month of disney plus <laughs> <laughs> oh okay talking marvel 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 let's talk marvel has everybody seen the second episode saturday nights what uh. I know we we're being patient and we're watching it on Saturday nights. I did finish on podcast. I I literally watched it when I woke up yesterday morning. I have it. So if you want to talk about it, cool. I will take my headphones out. Well, hang on. I want to get your update on WandaVision because you haven't been texting us any thoughts. So we need, we need your fresh thoughts. That first day was like, just well, listen, fighting the flying wasps has been very trying. So we (laughs) understand. We understand. So where are you in WandaVision? Finished. Shut up! Yeah. What'd you think? Eh. Oh, oh. I thought it was really good. 
up until the the witch lady showed up, which I forget her name. I think. Agatha, Agatha Harkness. Agatha. Yeah. yeah. And I was like, all Agatha right. All alone. <laughs> you did it. Like-, <laughs> like she's cool or whatever. But I was like, mm, I don't see where this is going because she's definitely not a one off. So she's definitely leading up to something, especially with the end part where she's like, oh, you're going to need me, rah, 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 whatever. Didn't see her coming as an antagonist to the series at all. I just thought she was like another person that was trapped or whatever. So that was a nice surprise. I Vision v. Vision was good. I yes. liked the whole like trying to mind melt each other. Like, mm, am I the ship or are you the ship? Or are you the Oh, that was, yeah. Oh, yeah. That was. Uh... That almost sounded like Bane. <laughs> <laughs> Um, however i don't like that he just flew off with no explanation yeah he's like okay i'm vision bye yeah he's like i'm vision peace Peace see ya (laughs) i knew the entire time she'd sacrifice her family duh because like you can't just live in denial in this world you got to deal with it so that was kind of sad i guess so who did you think was behind all of this if you didn't think it was agatha well i 100 percent going into it was like she had a mental breakdown and definitely held all these people hostage. So she's the antagonist. Okay. Which she is. And then all the extra stuff started layering on, like they're trying to make Vision a super weapon. And after then this random witch lady shows up and whatever. And I don't know how I feel that they contributed to the story very much. Contributed to what story? Who contributed to what? Like the guy <laughs> trying to make Vision the super weapon or whatever oh the director of sword they've been doing that but like was it necessary because we knew he was fake anyway and like she just having a mental breakdown like you knew he wasn't real the second he couldn't leave the hex in that like couple episodes back duh i don't feel like it was like necessary to the story to add another person well i knew that they were trying to do that i think you're gonna see all of this is going to carry, obviously, carry into different storylines throughout the MCU. Yes. But from a standpoint of telling the story of Wanda and really fleshing out her character, did you do you feel more connected to her? Because you didn't care about Wanda. And I no, know I still you- don't. Uh, <laughs> really? <laughs> Call me heartless or whatever. I still don't. Yeah. Um, How do you feel about Vision? less less <laughs> really yeah. I, I, I there's not i don't know what it is but they just don't appeal to me the same way like okay. i feel like they're very cop-out characters oh huh. okay yeah okay. so like they're not built with their own purpose they're filling a void yeah they're fillers yeah i get yeah. you well not everybody can be the leader you know true but not all of us should hold entire cities hostage because i got my feelings hurt I agree. True. Yes, that was awkward. Everybody's got dead people. Yeah, and we all have dead family members. Move on. Were you expecting any? Were you expecting anyone from the MCU to like show up and fix this? Or anything? I mean, I knew they would kind of because they can't just let what is essentially domestic terrorism yeah. exist and just be because they're going to have to interfere at some point. I was not expecting any main characters like Captain America or Iron Man or Captain Marvel or anything like that. I was expecting more of like a shield or something like that, that like, oh, they right. got to go investigate it or whatever and yada, yada. So that was pretty par for the course. Which Did you not got expect that. the scientist from Thor, Darcy, whatever her name is. Oh, yeah. 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 I thought she was very entertaining. I liked her. Wasn't she great? And yeah. then, and then Agent Wu. Yeah, was <laughs> Randall Park him. is just amazing. Yes, and I think those characters are endearing, but like wow. whether so, you watch one division or not, is it really going to make like contribute to the next series, or is this just a placeholder in between the next phase? I think I think it's you know a little I mean? bit of yeah, I think it's a little bit of both though, because now she's the Scarlet Witch. Right. Which so, I 100 percent thought we had already been calling her the Scarlet Witch. No, no, no they, they, they had never. never called yeah, her they that. never called her the Scarlet Witch. No. So 100 percent I was sitting there like, yeah, I knew she was the Scarlet Witch. Duh. Dude, no literally shit. same. I was no. like, you're the Scarlet Witch. I was like, yeah. Yeah, I was like, duh. I was like, that's yeah. anticlimactic. That. But they they never, but see, the thing is, they never had Disney up until they got Fox. They never had the rights to call, her, call her the that. Scarlet no. Witch. Yeah. That Wanda. was yeah, that was that was the problem. 
And so, then you add a whole other layer of like, mm, this witch's coven magic, yada yada. Mm. And I then like that don't that do anything magic. with it. Well, they're going to do something with it. I've So I was, uh, you know, at some point I'm like, what the hell? There's all this like, you know, magic stuff going on. And <laughs> where, why is Dr. Strange letting this happen? Like, this is literally why he exists. Okay, it's, Benedict Cumberbatch is very busy, okay? Because he's expensive. <laughs> So, <laughs> all right correct you gotta afford to print all those letters somewhere right <laughs> so i am fully expecting that there is going to be the, either dr strange this entire time was dealing with something bigger in the multiverse in yeah. the multiverse probably but with her at the end when you see that she is capable of existing both like she, you, you see you know the Wanda her astral projected her, she's yeah. astral projecting and she's reading the the, the dark hold the dark yep. yep thanks for filling in all the words the, no problem Mike. that is that is Katie launching us into what is going to be an issue moving forward in the MCU and does she continue to be a problem that Doctor Strange is going to have to deal with so it seems like they're kind of like making Wanda like turning her into like an antagonist instead of a protagonist yeah See, i think they're gonna go the anti-hero route mm-hmm. yeah i like, think mm, i think that's what they're doing character but she's gonna swoop in and save the day but right. then you heard i mean you heard those those kids at the end so her kids yeah, yeah. Her kids. Was, like mom, I was not yeah. real kids. weird i was that's, like they're not real though so but it, they she's... could be in another in another universe so that's yeah. the thing yeah. so yeah. she's in another she's trying... universe where people didn't die maybe <laughs> right right so right. let me ask you this katie so how did you, you know like not not caring about the the character themselves and wanda and vision how did you feel that the show was written at least because i thought i mean like i thought it was brilliantly written I thought it was, it encapsulated a lot of different styles, which I think is hard, but it kind of kept true to the point that it was consistent. It wasn't convoluted or confusing. It was not slow at any point. I thought the writing was really good. I thought there was bits of humor in there in the, you know, enjoy prison. Right. (laughs) (laughs) Right. That kind of stuff. I thought it was good writing. I think there's good foreshadowing that you can definitely tell that something's coming, but you don't know what, because she's like, "Mm, you're going to need me. And then they're like, "Mm, well, we need this super weapon or whatever and yada, yada. And then the scroll came back or whatever. So, you know, something's coming. Right. The scrolls are going to be big moving forward. Yeah, because the scrolls are part of sword. So like if you if you remember in cap in what was it? Uh, Spider-Man Far From Home. Like they, you know, the it was Talos and and his wife acting as Fury and Hill, and then like you know, Fury's up on you know up in space with the scrolls and the rest of Sword, mm-hmm. like the space the space version. So scrolls are definitely going to be a big part. We don't know if they're going to do like a scroll invasion arc or whatever, but that's I mean, there's a lot of possibility on that. But I I think with with Wandavision, I think they did such a good job because you had more questions after every episode than you did answers, but which, which is hard to do. But secondly, they had you, they, I thought it was brilliant in the sense that they basically told you what's going on right at the onset. You like, you know, oh, like, yeah, you here, knew right away. It's like, oh, forget yeah, your past. And but, da, 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 da. Yeah. yeah, but they as as it went on, they they made you second guess and everything else. But they told you so like they like they they kept they kept spinning it and spinning it. But they still had the answer in front of you the whole time. I and just, I thought that was great writing. I just I, wa- I wonder if there isn't a different experience in binging this all at once versus the excitement of every week waiting in between asking those questions, trying to figure things out, getting another episode. Like yeah. I, I, I think that this could be an, you know, an, an, an interesting look right. into, you know, the psychology of binging versus this. Like, well, and, and we also spent eight weeks every Saturday night with our friends at geek vibes, breaking down, every episode of WandaVision too. So like, yes. ha- so, so you had a whole, you had a whole week to like, think about different theories and who can be, you know, what, what did this mean? What was this Easter egg? Who could be coming in? 
So I guess the anticipation was built so much like you built it in your head so much. So I think you're I, I, I think just knowing me, I I wouldn't be that way if I was able to binge it like Katie's been able to. Yeah, I'd be no, like, oh. I feel like I picked up on the the foreshadowing very early on, like episode one. Yeah. And 100 yeah. percent by the second or third episode, I was like, oh, she's definitely just holding these people prisoner and having a mental breakdown. <laughs> Right, Duh. right. I'm surprised you, that you never caught on to like that the Agatha thing surprised you and then wasn't like it did. And then I went back and I was like, hmm, wait a minute. How did she break the little mind control thing to start like ratting on the neighbors? Mm hmm. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Well, I'm I am very, very happy that you watched it because it was one of those things where you said yes. And that it was like, I wonder if Katie will really do this. I do. And that is not a slam on you. Like that is how we operate here. Like we all tell each other we're going to watch shows, read books, do things. And we don't. <laughs> so, That's the basis so, of our friendship. You did it. We need to have it. And, and speaking of, we need to have an episode. Uh, and we need to pick the date that we're going to announce the kind of nerdy awards. I think when are the, <laughs> when are the Oscars? Oh, yeah. We've not done that. I know. I what are, what I are the, thinking about that the other when day. What are the Oscars? Because I thought Aren't we could in April? do, we could keep it going and, yeah. and, and announce it close to the Oscars. While you're looking that up, I'd also like to wish today while we're recording, I want to wish Nathan Fillion a happy birthday. Aww. Today is, is, is my man's birthday. So thank you for being born. And Good, thank you to on. Nathan Fillion's parents. Yes, his mother, his mother, <laughs> Cookie. Thank you, Cookie, for giving birth to Nathan today. Mm-hmm. I, I didn't name her. And <laughs> I'm why do you know her name? Because um, she's a stalker. Because I'm a, yeah, because I'm a, a stalker. Um, uh, no, April 25th would be Oscars. Yes. April 25th. 25th. So shall we fire up some more tweets and remind people and we'll announce the kind of nerdy awards. It just feels like now it's been going on forever. Honestly, I, I was thinking about it the other day. I was like, man, I was like, are we still, cause KJ tweeted about it or something. And I was like, man, are we still doing that? Yeah. Oh, you just, just tease it. Be like, you know, the kind of nerdy <laughs> awards are two weeks away. Make sure you vote. Well, what are we going to do? We gotta, 2020 we, and half of 2021. Can we do a, oh, you guys, we can announce them live on Twitch. Oh, hey. yay. There you go. Okay. Let's pick a, we, well, let's pick a date. Can we do that with Zoom? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I can stream. I oh, well, I'll do a stream yard and we can stream yard to, to Twitch. I got that all okay. set up. So you do oh, don't worry so about fancy. the technical yeah. stuff. You let's see. Oh, and, and speaking of the uh, Chris Evans Lifetime Achievement Award, I do want to thank producer Jana for hijacking our desktop pictures okay. on all of <laughs> We got to talk about this. Katie, okay. I'm going to start from the beginning here. We're, wah, 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 wah. It's time for Chris Evans' update. Wah, 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 wah. This one's really weird. Wah, You're welcome. Wah, wah, wah. So, Yesterday, I am, and you should know that I'm the person that has 8,000 things pulled up all the time on my computer. So oh, you're I a million tab person, aren't you? Rarely, uh, maddening. rarely see my screensaver. I don't even have a screensaver because I'm never going to see my screen. No, it's your desktop picture. Desktop picture. Right. Desktop picture. Sorry. I don't have that. I don't, I have too many things pulled up to see what's actually on the desktop. So I actually did, I, I left my, my laptop unplugged and it died. So I had to restart it and it pulls up and it launches up. And I'm like, well, isn't that a beautiful picture of Chris Evans? When did that get there? <laughs> and it's this black and white photo, Chris Evans. I'm like, well, it's that- a, it's a gorgeous photo. I mean, yeah. Let, me, yeah. let me see if I can share my, oh, yeah. I can't share my screen. Yeah. Uh, I think don't you worry. picked a good one then it sounds like. So. I but, thought it was a very good pick. So listen, so I'm like, well, that was really nice of Patches at some <laughs> point to put a picture of Chris Evans on my, that, look at that. That's just, I mean, that was a pleasant <laughs> surprise. <laughs> That's beautiful, right? Oh, wow. That's really nice. His little tattoos popping through, which we- Caress him with your mouse cursor. <laughs> that is nice. And so then I, you know, pulled all the things up again on my computer and went about my day. 
And so then I come down for the kind of nerdy night in. This is right after Katie and I had gotten done talking to the Red Dead Redemption guys. I rush downstairs for the kind of nerdy night in. And I walk into this very room here, the kind of nerdy cave. And Patches is getting all set up. And he says, thanks for putting Chris Evans on my screen, on my desktop. And I'm like, what? Yeah. And I look. And it's the very same photo of Chris Evans that's on my desktop. Mm. And I'm like, we don't have time to talk about this because we need to go live in the kind of nerdy network. Mm. But what the hell is happening? I didn't put that on your screen. You put it on my screen. What is going on? Why is Chris like, Evans? No, I didn't. What is, okay, we don't have to, So it's like eating at me the entire time. So I'm like, did someone get... Access. Someone broke into your house and updated your desktop. That's, back right? that's what they decided to do. Yeah. Someone broke into our house and, and updated every single laptop in the house to and have left. the same Chris They're Evans all the picture same picture. Left. The- yes, it's the same picture. It's the exact same. That picture that I just showed you. That it, it is it is that picture. It is this picture right here. So I'm please, like, please rub your mouse along the face. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Like, don't rub his mustache. Like, stroke his stroke. A gentle his, cheek caress. Stroke his. Just cheek. run your fingers through his hair. Really yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. There we go. Okay, you guys, stop it. Chris Evans just put a a, a, a restraining order on me. This is what did it. Okay. Mm. No. So that I'm literally hilarious. Literally, I'm sitting there the entire time, and it's going through my head like, how did this happen? There's been a breach in security mm. somehow. <laughs> <laughs> like. <laughs> That's what I was thinking too. I was like, so, someone had to have gained access to like our network and our laptops. Yeah. I'm like freaking out. Do I need to change all my passwords right now? And instead I'm in the kind of nerdy night in just chatting away about what Katie should be doing on Twitch. And there's been a security breach and I've got Chris <laughs> Evans pictures everywhere. Um, Which I mean, worse things could happen. Right. Yeah. Could have but been a worse like, crime. But then I'm like, <laughs> did they just put a nice picture of Chris Evans everywhere as they are stealing all of my, you know, credit information and bank accounts. And like, they're like, here's Chris Evans. It's Your life is ruined. Yeah. yeah. That's how they get you. So in the middle of this, I go, <laughs> wait a second. <laughs> <laughs> you know who puts Chris Evans on Everywhere. every single screen she owns? Hmm. Producer Jana. <laughs> And so then I'm like, how did this happen? Jada has a key to my house. Did Jada come into my house and change all the screens? <laughs> and then I'm like, mm, wait a minute. You know mm-hmm. what? Hang on just a second. That's what I'm doing with my free time is going to KJ's house and changing your computer background. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, hell of a prank. I, u- I use my key wisely. <laughs> So I text Jana, and again, I'm like multitasking now because we're live in the kind of nerdy night. Like trying in. to be cool about it. Trying to be cool, but I'm like, I gotta know right now. <laughs> uh, did you happen to change your screensaver to on the surface to a beautiful black and white photo of Chris Evans? So a couple of weeks ago, Patches it's been weeks. Patches got yeah. a new surface. And we gave Jana his old one so that she can edit and, and post things on Patreon, which we need to do that, Jana. And she says, it's been changed since I got it, LOL. But yes, to which I sent her a screenshot of the beautiful photo of Chris Evans and said, is this the one? And she says, ha ha, yes, because it's on all our laptops and I don't know how it got there. Well, you're welcome. (laughs) (laughs) So at this very moment, I still don't quite understand. I think it has something to do with OneDrive. Are they like connected or whatever? Somehow all of our. Yeah, because she's signed into my Windows account on that on that surface. So at this point, if Jana wants to change her screensaver, it will be changed. It's a committee decision. Right. Right. (laughs) And so which I said, don't you dare change it to the crankshot. (laughs) <laughs> because you know that I do not ever want to see the Chris Evans <laughs> shot. And right now, if Jana wanted to, she could put it on both of our laptops and imagine poor Patches at work if he opens up his laptop. <laughs> I have so much power now. Yeah. What the- <laughs> my first thought was like, oh, you guys could play tic-tac-toe with your screen with your uh, desktop background. Like you could just keep updating it between you guys. Oh right. God. Yeah, right. I, I get to see the mouth breathers that come into my office that look at that mm-hmm. like what's that? I'm like, it's Chris Evans crank. Shut up. Move along. <laughs> 
you it's know, art, art. it's artistic. Yes, it's, it's artistically <laughs> it's art. done. It's, it's a black and white. Shut up. Anyway, I was I was like, what the hell's happening? Is this some like did I bring a did I bring a ghost home from this paranormal mm. crossroad show? And now it's messing with That's me. That's obsessed like, with Chris Evans. Right. I was like, it would be fitting. It again, would be again, a very recent ghost. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Again, worse <laughs> things could happen. Right. Yeah. So mm. as of as we stand right now, at any point, Jada can just update our screensaver. Now, so be careful. I, I actually really, I actually really I like that should. picture of Chris Evans. So like, I think I'll keep it. I mean, I'm I've had should. the same screensaver of him for like as long as I've had this phone. So yeah. But you well, should have known, like, Pat. This needs to we, be a game now. Like, yeah, I say now transversely. Yeah, transversely, we can do this to Jana as well. Right. So yeah, keep one upping each other. Me. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> or like, you have to like do a really zoomed in picture, and you have to guess what it is. Oh, there you go. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, this could be good. But I, okay. you know, I, I'm I'm good with your choice. I don't know that Thank Patches you. wants to keep it. It's fine. Screens. I don't care. People can ask me. I don't give a <laughs> shit. is secure enough in his masculinity that he's like, hell yeah, that's Chris Evans. Damn on my Skippy. Screen. You should know anybody else would be like, oh, damn. Nice. Right. Yeah. 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 It's like, yeah. yeah, what? Chris Evans, you got a problem? But remember, Jada, if you go to update your screensaver that whatever you update it to, we're going to see it. Be prepared. I'll find Chris Evans a so you know. shot. Do not if you ever put the crank shot up there. I won't. It's safely in my telephone. Don't worry. Thank you. Thank you. Safely in the phone. (laughs) And then what was the deal this week? The Chris Evans update. I didn't see he like took a picture with his shirt off or something and everybody went crazy. Look, okay. let me just tell y'all. New wallpaper. (laughs) He did a um, Q&A with his brother for Ace Comic Con, which I watched, which was fantastic. Oh, Um, yes. I need to learn how to rollerblade or get back in the spirit of rollerblading because Chris Evans likes to rollerblade, I found out. Patches has roller blades don't touch they are expensive and don't touch them i wasn't gonna say he i was gonna say you could teach her oh i could teach her yeah well i couldn't your roller blades are 10 times too big for my tiny feet yeah and they and they weigh as much as you do as well (laughs) so (laughs) he didn't need like kids roller blades but anyway jada your second dad here producer patches can teach you how i can teach you how to roller blade okay cool that way me and me and Chris can be rollerblading down the roads of Boston Old when we get married. That'd be know. wicked pissa. Oh, God. And his accent was coming out so hard in that interview. Was it? It was. I, was uh, like, I wonder, is- can, can you rewatch it? it, did it yeah, did it's it- on there. It's on Ace Comic Con's YouTube okay. channel. Man, I can't wait until we can do Ace Comic Con again. Right. <laughs> Mm, now, what, was his accent like the Hyundai commercial that was like no, at, at it wasn't last that, year? No, it wasn't oh, okay. That okay. But like everyone is like going nuts over like these tattoos. And I'm like, where? I was like, have y'all not been stuck? I mean, I'm not saying I'm stalking <clears throat> Chris Evans, but I will say <laughs> that I have seen like, unless he has like a fresh tattoo, which I'm pretty sure he doesn't Mm-mm. since 2020 was 2020. I'm sure that all the tattoos that he has are the ones that we saw when he did that backflip video into his pool last year. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I was like, I, how could it, there's not going to be nothing. And he either. always has on those shirts that show like a little bit of his like. Yeah, the D, like the deep sure the V's or. A, yeah, yeah. I'm mm-hmm. pretty sure the one that's right, because one right here is the like a quote or something. And then one over here, I think is like, oh, what is it? It's not the eagle, but it's something else right here. Wow, Johnny, you really know. <laughs> oh, his eagle's on the stomach. I'm you sorry. Research. Gonna, I'm not like a stalker or anything. I just no, I, no. You sound I'm not totally like a normal. I just know the exact placement of his tattoos. <laughs> <laughs> I just have to know where they are. All right. Just a reminder: you can vote for Chris Evans for the Chris Evans Lifetime Achievement Award. Or yeah. Chris Evans. Go to kinda nerdy network.com. <laughs> choo, choo, choo. Pa, 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 pa. Oh, what a sad pal. It's time for what's got Jada weeping. <laughs> got a fresh okay. week? I do. I just finished it yesterday. Ooh, tell us about it. Uh, shout out to producer Patches for the Paramount Plus login. Thank you. Appreciate you. You're the best. I'm here for you. Um, uh, what do you mean we share accounts? Definitely not. <laughs> well, no, she, because I wanted to watch the Harry and Meghan interview, which it wasn't on Paramount Plus. Almost, she's basically a dependent. So, yeah, I mean, basically. it's fine. They can put it on their taxes if yeah, they wanted yeah. to. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> but I wanted to watch the Harry and Meghan interview and so I texted Patches and I was like hey can I borrow your Paramount Plus login and I was like well I mean I got it now so might as well just you know scroll through and see what they got on here which Paramount Plus is A plus 
Mm-hmm. I love that. It It's like my whole childhood, just like so right what, here. What was it that you were excited about? I was scrolling through the movies and I was like, hmm, what should I watch? And I was scrolling down and I saw Beautician and the Beast with Fran Drescher. <laughs> That's why that was keep watching in the queue. Yep. I was, because I, I forgot I gave you the log and I was like, is Carrie watching Beautician and the Beast? <laughs> yep. That was me. I love that movie. Fantastic. <laughs> By the way, the K stands for Carrie. And Patches is like the only one that calls. Oh, KJ, that. sorry. <laughs> <That's okay. laughs> yeah. I'm sure everybody knows by now what the K and KJ stand I don't, for. You, right. No, I don't think so, John. I don't think <laughs> I am not that big of a deal. Oh, uh, no. Okay, so that was what. That uh, was uh, Fran Drescher and uh, Timothy Dalton. Was that? Yeah. Is that right? Okay. Was he the beast? Yeah, he was the beast. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Uh, my favorite thing about this whole episode is me just surprising you guys on everything. Surprise background, <laughs> surprise movie. <Right. laughs> I'm doing a fantastic job at keeping we, you guys on your toes. We got totally low jacked by Jonna. This is awesome. Yeah. So, um, so how many sniffles do you give it? Six. Six sniffles. Okay. Yes. All right. All right. That's good. above average sniffling. That's a it's, on, it's on Paramount Plus, guys. Go watch it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, also Chris Evans update. I watched The Perfect Score on Paramount Plus. Also, thanks, Patches. You the best. Oh, nice. You Very got it. nice. I think we bought that, didn't we? Yeah, when it's it on was, our voodoo. Yeah, yeah we own a, a bunch of those Chris Evans 12 trees or 12 days, 12 trees of Chris 12 Evans. 12, 12 days, days of, of Chris. Chris. Miss. miss. <laughs> you know, the actual <laughs> holiday. Are we going to do that again in July? It's coming I up. Think that, I was also thinking about that. I was like, I think that we should. Christmas in July. Mm. Yeah, baby. Our annual Christmas in July. (laughs) Oh, yes. Don't, don't, hey, you just wait for the tree decorations this year. I can't wait. What are you going to do? There's going to be a bunch of cranks hanging from it. (laughs) No. You know, it'll be great. You guys know we respect Chris Evans here. We respect him. I don't I want this. Him. So, do you want a bunch of Chris Evans cranks in your house? If it's gonna make, if it's gonna irritate you, if it's through the real this, one, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, we will respect. <laughs> well, this podcast know. has devolved. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah, what you get for having me on. Sorry, okay, we're gonna. Uh, where is this train time- going? By the time Christmas in July rolls around, we might all actually be able to be around each other. Right? We can uh-huh. exchange well, gifts. Be. We can exchange gifts. We can do Christmas all the gifts. things. Yes. Uh, I'm bringing Katie her gift next weekend. Because I'm tired of it sitting in my closet. Okay. All right. I mean, Don't- KJ, you can, we can like have lunch or some stuff. I know. <laughs> it isn't even in, it isn't, it's not in anything. It's still in the bag that I bought it in. You guys, it'll be soon. It's just not, it, honestly, it's not, I would have lunch with you if I had time. <laughs> if I liked you guys. No, I'm, I just, it's, it's hard not Being having unemployed. a job. <laughs> I work hard really not hard. having any hard hey, deadlines. Hey, uh, I have a job now. I can buy you some lunch. if you. Need I have debt. I have deadlines. I mean, like I was so like out of my mind yesterday, just trying to get stuff done for paranormal crossroad and trying to get things done for pet pals TV and trying to get things done for the kind of nerdy girls to make it to the red dead redemption interview. Oh, and so I had that that one that, just like, fine. Now was, that you don't have a job, you're still like 10 times as busy. As yes. when you had a job. So if you would, <laughs> If you would be uh, interested in being a sponsor of any of the shows that we have, they're wonderful marketing opportunities for you. And I can connect you and we can have your brand connect with our brand. You could be on Pet Pals TV. You could be a part of Paranormal Crossroad. You could be, be on the Kind of Nerdy Girls podcast. Part you could be on the right? Kind of Nerdy Girls podcast. <laughs> you could be like this, this crap, <laughs> this crap show is brought to you by my awesome company. You know what I want to represent my business? 20 minutes of talking about Chris Evans' business. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what? If you are a fan hey, girl so, business, maybe you sell hey, maybe, Chris, maybe you sell Captain America earrings. You know what? Or We're maybe Cirillas about, wants to sponsor. Yeah, Who an knows? adult hey. shop. Yeah, we don't care. And honestly, like it would be up to we you if you money. wanted to say, I am going to advertise on this podcast, but I want to say, this crap show is brought to you by my great business. We will let you do that. Yes, we will. Insert business here. This yes. crap show is brought to you by my great business. 
this train wreck brought to you by <laughs> <laughs> and or this derailment was brought to you by you could sponsor binges and books binges and books Woo, choo, choo, choo. it's time for binges and books 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 Woo! let's go around and talk about our binges and our books we'll start with producer patches uh mm. As you guys know, I can't read, so oh, I'm going to stick with... I can teach you how to read. Oh, thank you. I'll teach you how to rollerblade. So not having the time to read books at the moment. The binges have been... We are going back through the Marvel Cinematic Universe. We started from Iron Man, and we are now at Endgame. Yes. So Dang. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. We so are committed. It, yep. Yes. Yeah. Typically a movie a night, so that it's been a lot. Yeah, I will say second watch of Guardians of the Galaxy 2. I liked it better. Yes. Dave Batista mm-hmm. is absolutely yes. hilarious. So funny. Drax, man. He was just on it the entire time. I was like, just gi- I was uh, just a giggling. Yeah, he's he, giggling. Yeah, he was just on point. So. So, yeah, that's that's my binge. All right. Ooh, choo, choo. Binges and books, binges and books, binges and books, binges and books, binges and books. Uh, Katie, I've been watching the newest episodes of Box Burgers. Oh, there's Ooh. new episodes of Bob's Burgers? Mm-hmm. Oh, my goodness. How really? many seasons is that now? I think we're on like 11. Okay. Wow, wow, that long. Wow. I, love I could not. I don't call me on that. I don't think I've spent enough time with it. I love Bob's Burgers. It has right. such a special place in my heart. Is it? It's up, very funny. Where it is, is it? It's so entertaining. It's on Hulu. No, 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 no. Where is it in your life? Because King of the Hill's like up top, right? Um, I cycle through all the shows that I enjoy. Yeah. Bob's Burgers is probably one of my favorite cartoons of all time. Wow. Ooh. Okay. Wow. It's so entertaining. And it, what I love about it is that it's like, this could 100% be a family that you know, like totally believable. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Like just a train wreck of a family. Okay. But there's so and, much love. And they're, so, they're very, very love each other very much. If you yes. could only keep one, Bob's Burgers. Our family. Or King of the Hill. Bob's Burgers. Wow. Okay. Yeah. That's what wow. I need. That, that was a quick decision. I don't really like King of the Hill that much. I think it's fun to watch because I watched so much of it as a kid. Okay. I don't know. The two of you talk about King of the Hill a lot. Yeah, so. Gun and Bobby. Gun, it, Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I cannot watch King of the Hill because I'll, some good I, singers. all I hear is Mr. Anderson from Beavis and Butthead. Beavis and Butthead. Yeah. When so, you guys use that voice, it's like that's yeah. Beavis and Butthead. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Yeah. 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 No, 100%. I, that's the whole show. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, boom, choo, binges of books, binges of books, binges of books, binges of books. I, start, I started a book the other day. Oh, yeah. I know. I'm very proud of myself. It's a book that's the last one in one of my favorite book series. It's Harry called- Harry Potter. No, it's not Harry Potter. So sorry. <laughs> someday. Someday <laughs> it'll be Harry Potter. Lord of the Rings. No. No. Oh, the no, really no, no. I don't think I could read Lord of the Rings. I honestly think I would just like put it against my face and sleep on it and hope that <laughs> osmosis helped a little bit. <laughs> it won't. It won't. So it's called Asa and all the books in the series are named after like the male main character. Okay. And he is a reformed criminal and he is falling in love with a police officer. Oh, you have a time. Oh, you know. Ah. Whole, I, I know I just can't help it okay <laughs> I, I have tropes that I really love okay I can't help it like yes. I love a good opposite fake girlfriend. I, um, love, I love it Johnny you gotta Johnny get into lovers. this you gotta what get is- into this throne of glass series that I'm watching I'm on crown of midnight now and I'm literally like are you gonna get together or what like can we, and then it's like oh no you're not no maybe you shouldn't oh crap i think you are oh nope mate, nope ah oh, crap yeah you would love it that was it's, that was yeah. literally me i know that's literally me all the time when i watch things i'm like no you're not gonna do that oh you're gonna no you're not yes you are no, you're, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> see i'm like just get to the point right? do it or don't beginning like middle end go Let's I go. like the 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 angsty like are they will they or won't they like I really like that because sometimes they don't yeah and see I'm not in love with the dancing around each other I'm like get to the point or don't come on nope yep wasn't there any dancing with you and Eric at first your husband oh like, no I was completely smitten from day one wow yeah I was about to say Katie was like put a ring on it right now yep yeah like first day she met him wow. oh we didn't dance <laughs> straight to the point 
<laughs> it went, you went straight to the buffet, buffet didn't you? Mm-hmm. Uh, do you have a... Uh... No appetizers here, only entrees. <laughs> <laughs> do you have a binge, Jada? I was binging Nancy Drew on the mm. CW. So good. Um, it's good. I, I'm like into it, but like I also like couldn't care less about it. Yeah, that's the way I am when I'm like, I can't, I don't want to start anything new. I'll go back to Nancy Drew. Like I'm watching it and then I'm just like on my phone, like playing games and stuff. And I'm like, oh man, I can't believe that ghost tried to kill her again. Oh my God, Mm, that's so crazy. That's how I watch uh, Shadow Hunters. That's sometimes (laughs) that's my, I'll just sit, I'm like, I don't really care about this. It's it's so over the top. Like you would love Shadow Hunters. It is. It's it's, extra. It is so like teenage (laughs) love angst oh, I crazy love, love some good angsty teens man. oh yeah oh it's fantastic but i i'm like oh yeah okay oh are they getting getting together right now oh are they gonna go kill that thing yeah that's, okay. that's yep. literally me with nancy drew and walker like i'll just be sitting on my phone like oh my god i can't believe that happened that's i've decided so i'm not gonna watch walker and that, that does honestly not, i'm not i'm not gonna are you missing it. much tbh you're not missing a whole lot okay all right. Well, I like, just I I settled on that this week. You're I was like, I love you, Jared, but this is where we part. Gotcha. I mean, it's good. You're just missing a lot of like shirtless Jared with like all of his like chest hair hanging out, which is fantastic. A plus. Yeah, I'm fine. There's a lot of chest hair in this episode. I was. Uh, <laughs> I'm more of a Jensen girl, so I'm fine. I know I love, I'm, but I mean, Jared looks real like he's really hot as a ranger. Like I will say, like the whole hat does something. I don't know what it is, but that's it's, not enough for me. What are you gonna go join the National Park Service? No. So I think for us, I mean, it, we both watched uh, Falcon, the Falcon, and, and the, the Winter, Winter Soldier. Soldier separately. So we haven't yes. really talked about it. Nope. Uh, Take your headphones out. Okay, Katie, we're not. I don't want to spoil anything for you. It's just, I mean, they get back. They don't. They, yeah, don't ruin this for me. Don't you ruin know they're going to see each other in the second. Well, episode. duh. It's Falcon and Winter Soldier, not Falcon yeah, like Kamala Winter Soldier. Yeah. Right. So it's it's the second episode you wanted it to be, essentially, yes. right? There was finally, the second someone episode, in the MCU is getting therapy. <laughs> the second episode is what I wanted the first episode to be. Yeah. I don't know. I was happy with the first episode. I mean, the like, entire was, time I was watching WandaVision, I was like, well, at least somebody's getting therapy for their problems. Oh, my God. Really? <laughs> the whole time I was watching WandaVision, I was like, all right, like, I'm th- I'm this much closer get to watching some in the Winter Soldier. Girl, get <laughs> some help. Yeah, she definitely needs some therapy. So, yeah, so that is it what we, we've been binging and we will not spoil anything for you. And then the book, again, Crown of Midnight, it's the second book after throat of glass and it's you know i i am enjoying it it's nice to it's nice to have a a book that i know there's still lots more books to come i i hate go i hate starting a new i don't like one-off books and i hate starting a new series not sure if i'm gonna actually be able to like commit to it so this is nice I yeah. like when I start a book, like if I'm starting a book series, but I don't know that it's a book series until like the end of the book. And then it's like, oh, if you want to see more about these characters, then read this book, right. which is second right. in the series. I'm like, oh, oh, yes. Now I have a book series because if I finish the first book, that means I would definitely want to go to the second. Now book. I'm always researching it. Like if I'm going to give nope. this any of my time, I, I want like surprise. build a universe that I, I get to- based on the cover <laughs> art. <laughs> I mean, <it's> like, <laughs> Like, this one looks good. I learned a lot about myself. Occasionally you read ones out of order in the series, you know. When I was logging. Okay, you guys, this kind of goes into dude news. Oh, there's Amelia. There's been a lot of talk on the kind of nerdy dudes about Justice League. Uh, The Snyder. I going to ask about it. Y'all want to tell me why you got such bad opinions? (laughs) Y'all. What? Who's got bad opinions? We don't like Justice League in this house. No. We don't like DC. No, I no, yeah. I I love DC. I love well, I love Batman. I grew up with Batman. I love I Batman. Batman. The rest I, of them are and, terrible. And I loved Wonder Woman because I grew up with Linda Carter you and watching talk crap about Wonder Woman, Katie. Don't even mm, the movie don't okay. get me started. It's I was not my favorite compl- hero. I was right. just complaining to my coworker about how much I hate Batman. Uh, well, I mean, I get it. I, I understand I understand why Batman can like great like great people. I get it. But on the latest episode of the kind of nerdy dudes, I, I, I kind of, I kind of lost my cool. Look, he's like, he's like, I just, yeah, 
Yeah. What now, happened? to my what defense, happened? all right. So let's just say I'm not going to drink as much spiced rum leading into a taping. Maybe you should. No, Katie. It was go bad. listen to the Katie yeah, Nerdy dudes. Just, yeah, it, it's like oh, go listen. Yeah, it's, it's towards, super it's towards uncomfortable. The, yeah, it's really, really Is it bad. Really, I got really, mm-hmm. really mad. Like I was screaming how much I hated. And he started cut. off so like we went around and everybody gave their opinions. Clay and and listener Jim and Paul from the kind of nerdy network guested, and I was like, God, I'm so sorry you're here. After what I did, yeah. and, and it then, just went right? downhill. And Patrick oh, yeah. was like. I think I could speak for both of us here. And I'm like, <laughs> okay, he's like, not me. <laughs> and then literally like, he's like straight. And I had to interrupt it. I'm like, he's not speaking for me. This is not me. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know. Like I'm moving further yeah. and further away. I smack about and the like, Snyder cut. Like falling off yeah. the couch. It yeah. was, he was real mad. I mean, it, I, I think the Snyder cut kind of deserves it. Yeah. Um, not that I've yeah. watched it. Cause I'm not going to, but you yeah. haven't watched it. Jonna has never seen it. Jonna. I actually, because this would be such a great experiment. I would love for you to just watch the Snyder cut and see what you think of justice league. Like someone who's pure didn't see the first one has no Nine. preconceived Innocent. notions. Doesn't right. really like Batman. Like just, I, I just would really like you to watch it. You, you, it wouldn't surprise me if you came out of it and went, you know, it wasn't bad. Okay, th- if we get three more patrons on Patreon, I'll watch it. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> there you go. I'm really accepting it wasn't bad. I expect movies that are four hours long to be good. All right. So Not, here, it wasn't bad. All right, that's so, what I'm wondering. That's why I want Jonna to watch it, because yeah. I'm wondering if she'll like it, because the rest of us had all this stuff going into it. And the only reason that we watched it is because Patches had been having so much fun on St. Patches Day that the day after I knew I knew when we were done recording, you guys, I went downstairs and I was like, we're going to get Grubhub and we're going to watch Justice League because you're laying on the couch all day anyway. It's a good so, day whatever so yeah. that was why we watched it i don't think had that not happened i don't think that we would have watched it yet like yeah. we were we wouldn't have been like let's give this thing four hours now they broke it into parts which is great there's six like parts six parts yeah. there's chapters so you have time to stop it if you wanted to you know it's stop like a moving book it is yeah. it is yeah. but it for the people who had seen justice league and are now watching this it made more sense like it definitely giving it four hours to explain what they were trying to do was very helpful. And that, and then it just, it had the Lord of the Rings, the return of the King effect where you thought it was done and that it kept going. And you're like, no, it should have been done. And they're like, oh, how about a little bit more? No, it should have been done. How about a little bit more? No, really stop, please. <laughs> like, we are going to return to the King. There's a spot where they could have wrapped it up very nicely with a bow. There's the, you know, the wonderful shot of all of the Justice League characters together, which the little girl in me who ate cereal on Saturday mornings and watched the Justice League was like, this is what I wanted right here. And then and then Zack Snyder was like, how about some more crap? Yeah. It's just going to make you mad. Hey, I'm, I'm going to I'm going to stroke my massive ego for another 25 minutes. Um, you guys but, got nowhere to be. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, right? like, that's all I really want to say about it, because I would just love for like pure, innocent Jana with no thoughts about this at all to watch the Justice League oh, and tell us what she thought. Yeah. Yes. Yes, yeah, my yeah. fight. Yeah. And I said and I said this last night in the kind of nerdy night. And my final stance on this is the Justice League. Everyone says everyone was saying and, and justifiably so was it was better than the original the original theatrical release. Mm-hmm agreed the problem is you made a bad movie just a little bit better of a bad movie at the end of the day it was still a bad movie i don't know though because you have those preconceived notions jonna could watch it and be like you know what again that's my opinion that was a good four hours the same way i feel about suicide squad like the mark of a good movie is not "Eh, it wasn't bad Oh, uh, did you be, guys? Is this a good? I've movie? not watched a new trailer. Did yet. you see the trailer? No, I did. Yeah, I did. The new Suicide Squad trailer came out like yesterday. What do you? Where are you at with it? Not impressed. I'm not impressed with Suicide Squad at all. Think- it looks better, but it still seems like it's kind of fallen into the same mistakes that the first one made, where it was like, oh, 45 minutes of Harley Quinn, and then we're gonna throw the rest of the guys in for the last hour. I don't like, think so. I don't I, think that's I don't think I picked up on it and it was way too 
birds of prey for me yeah where it was like kind of edgy like oh, i'm you know i'm just gonna break out of jail like you got this big whole plan and blah 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 and whatever and i'm right here mm, i'm just gonna uh, mess up your plans and you know haha so no. funny yeah. throw john cena in there put a bow on it it's a movie right <laughs> john cena is gonna be great in this john the cena character- sounds like he may be the only good thing about this movie well, we'll see. You've I was got, not impressed. James Gunn, you got to. Uh, I will say, Katie, that I am not. I do not love Harley Quinn. So if it's too much Harley Quinn, I'm out. But, Honestly, I think they should cut out Harley Quinn and the Joker completely and do different characters. Yeah. Right. Like. Let it be what it's going to be. Stop trying to remake the same thing over and over again, because however you paint a turd is still a turd. Right? And and Katie, just one more note on the Justice League, because I know you're never going to watch it. One of the things that is that literally like I set me on fire was the waste of time that was Jared Leto as the Joker in the in the Snyder cut. Oh, my God. Let it go. It was let this Joker go. All right. I kind of want you to just fast forward all the way through just so you can be like, just watch the last 30 minutes. So you're telling me to waste my time. Now it's the, you're only wasting 30 minutes as opposed to the two, the three and a half hours prior. The Joker is there for five minutes. It's the, it's a, but it's the, he's there long enough that I was like, you're a bad Joker and you're wasting my freaking time. So 10 seconds. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It, yeah. Literally took her about, yeah, about 10 seconds ago. God darn. Like, right, it's not cause... contributing to the movie at all. Stop trying yeah. to like fix what's broken, like make yeah. something better. Well, yeah. and that's the thing. Like all these people that are like, no, this, no, now the Snyderverse needs to continue. He had lots of opportunities and the movies were bad. Yeah. And just oh. because this one set up some things that you wish you could have doesn't mean that if he made those, that those wouldn't be bad too. And the not bar to for a movie <laughs> is not not bad. The bar for a movie is is it good? Yes. I will exactly. not settle, especially on a four hour movie, for not bad. Yeah. Right. Exactly. But I'll tell you, Jada, if you do watch it, and and for those listening, come on, three more patrons. That's all we need. Three more patrons, and Jada will watch the Justice League. And, <laughs> I mean, we start at three dollars, you guys. Three dollars. Make a TikTok about it. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, there you go. You could you could stream on Twitch. A Ooh. lot of live stream, live, live four hour stream of me oh, watching God. the freaking Justice League. <laughs> just making this face the whole time. Jonna, I want you to just live stream watching things because you're hysterical. <laughs> <laughs> I want you okay. to live stream these these rom coms that make you cry. <laughs> like, man, I wish you would have live stream watching Beautician and the Beast. <laughs> it took me like four days to watch it because I've only logged in on my phone. I didn't want to log in on my Fire Stick, but now I'm kind of like, I might just log in on the Fire Stick. <laughs> you get a lot of weird recommendations, right? All right. My key is gonna. Look, look crazy now we are was good. it was like do you want to make a different profile and i was like no i'm just gonna use it the one time and now i'm just like maybe i do need to make a profile for myself no, <laughs> no please just keep the same profile so that <laughs> patches and i can wonder who's watching all this weird <laughs> shit and changing your backgrounds who's watching this thing about shit. drug lords goodness <laughs> i mean those are good those are very good. All right. We we actually have a hard out here. We got a schedule to keep, guys. I want to let you I know. know. I have to go to my nephew's birthday. Let party. you know that the Paranormal Crossroad uh, new episode is out. And this is the first episode where I'm officially a cast member. So she's in the credits and everything. I'm in the cre- I am. I'm in the credits so and they fancy. They use my last name. This is the first time ever that like, like it's your like government last name with KJ mm. McLenn. I'm like, Ooh. did I tell you you could use my last name? Like, I don't care. You mean you're not Carrie Joel anymore? I know. Crazy. I know. It's crazy. Who being, are you? I'm She's only up. been Carrie McLenn for like 16, 16 years. 16 years. <laughs> 16 years. Guys. Yeah. Here's the thing. 20. Facebook won't let me change my name. <laughs> To KJ McLenn. That's what people know me as. They know me as KJ. Okay. But the only way to keep the KJ, if I change it to Carrie McLenn, then no one's going to be like, oh, that's KJ because it's KM. So I have to keep it. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> Face Very hard life you live. Go yeah. to yeah. pxroad.com. I, I built a website this week, guys. Ooh. pxroad.com will get you where you need to be to watch the show, 
follow us on the you know, all the places, sign up for our workshop, the basics of spiritual energy, where I will be teaching you how to use a pendulum and check your chakras oh, and use balance your life. Yeah. I just got a new one. Very exciting. Yeah. No, you can't use mine, but I'll use mine on you. My pendulum, it's like, I have an emotional connection to it. Like I broke the one that I've had for years and years and years, and I'm mourning it. Like I put off going to new age to get a new one. Cause it like, it's like when you lose, when you lose a pet and then mm-hmm. you're like, it, you're getting a new one and you feel like you're replacing the pet. That's how this was for me. Like replacing my pendulum was, it was some deep emotional shit going on. So you broke your pendulum and then I changed your background to Chris Evans. So that made it a little better. It did help. It did. Pendulum help. did that for you, KJ. So, That's what happened. So me and my new pendulum, we're, we're, we're like in the you know honeymoon phase. We're getting to know each other. It's exciting, but you know, <laughs> I, 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 so by the time we get to the workshop, which is April 22nd, we'll be like super tight me and my pendulum but i would be happy to check your chakras genre and we could go to new age people which is right down from my house and we could help you find the the pendulum that belongs in your life okay can we talk to someone about seeing if chris evans is actually going to be my husband so i can stop maybe wasting my time okay they're Uh, not miracle workers john (laughs) (laughs) but you can get a reading at at new age people but i'm just going to tell you that they're going to say no i know yeah it's okay. Girl, you're gonna have Just to a little that. part of me that holds out hope for no reason. <laughs> oh, Zero it's fun to have hope. Are you kidding? I'm happily married to this guy and I'm still like, you know, someday Chris Evans and I will be together. Someday Chris will come save me from this. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Actually, I say that sometimes. So. And Patches yes. won't even be upset. He's like, you know what, babe? You deserve that. Go ahead. Sometimes Patches is like, I was like, is Chris, Chris Evans, Evans, will you please take me away from this, please? <laughs> Oh, I thought you meant when is Chris Evans going to show up and take her so I can be free? <laughs> Sounds like you both want to be taken. I'm good either way. So, uh, so Chris, you have options. If either one of us appeals to you for a long term relationship, we're both available. I'm a uh, damn or good me cook because I'm actually available. Excuse me. <laughs> oh, God. Available. Someday Bye, we're going to Chris's yes. uh, only five more days. Probably by the time this airs, Chris Maloney's new show. Law and Order Organized Crime will be out. Thank you. Yes, this is the announcements part of the kind of nerdy girls. So I got my paranormal crossroad stuff out, pxroad.com. John is excited because Chris Maloney's show is going to be out. What is that streaming on? I'm pretty sure it'll be on, it's on Peacock, I believe. Or Peacock. Yeah, but it streams on USA, I think. Okay. Yep. All so right. It'll be coming out on USA. Perfect. Uh, Katie, do you have any announcements for us? No. Okay, plan your uh, no. date to start your Red Dead Redemption stream on the Kind of Nerdy Girls Twitch channel. I will look at my calendar. You plan that date. We'll solidify the date for the Kind of Nerdy Awards announcements. Jana, do you have anything else to add? No, I was going to ask if we had picked a date for the Kind of Nerdy Awards. <laughs> we did not. If you're listening right now, uh, go to kindofnerdygirls.com and leave us a voice message on when you'd like us to plan the date to announce the Kind of Nerdy Awards. In we'll the meantime... Live. In the meantime, keep voting at kindanerdynetwork.com. Keep voting for Chris, guys. The Kind of Nerdy Girls are proud to be a part of the Just What I Needed Network, and we certainly hope we were just what you needed. To support the show, you can get yourself some merch and show off that you are kind of nerdy. Go to kindanerdygirls.com and click on the Kind of Nerdy Shop. And while you're there, you can also support the show by getting access to behind-the-scenes footage, videos of our podcast, and never-before-heard episodes from our our classic kind of nerdy vault. Just become a patron at kindofnerdygirls.com.